One day through television, the entire world will stream into our living rooms with a velocity of light. When I was growing up, we had a big TV in the corner and uh, we had a newspaper on the coffee table and that newspaper would change every day. And that was it, that was our media landscape. Now, people are getting information on their phones, they're getting information uh, on TV, they're hearing information on the radio, they're getting it on the internet, sometimes simultaneously. Voters aren't watching television that much anymore. DVRs, broadcast television, folks aren't doing it. They're not getting those advertisements uh, that we used to rely on solely to get our message out to, to other voters. We can bang our heads against the wall trying to figure out how to make people watch TV ads, or we can go where the voters are. Digital media, digital campaigning, takes it precisely to the voters that you want to reach, far better than anything else we've ever been able to do. During the 2012 election cycle, Bully Pulpit Interactive worked with the No on 32 campaign extensively. The more we got into it, and clearly as chair of the alliance, the more I looked into it, it opened up a whole new realm of campaigning for all of us. Our campaign uh, was light years ahead of uh, the opposition campaign in terms of technology, online advertising. We were finding the voters where, where they were and we were communicating with them. One of the most important impacts that, that online advertising can have on local campaigns is that it makes advertising a realistic option at a smaller level. If you have a staffing issue going on in your community, we can use the tools here to get the message out to people who are going to write letters, call city council people, show up to meetings, and be involved. Over the last two years, there's been a concerted effort to try and reduce our staffing. And they've been coming after us, you know, pretty hot and heavy, and trying to get us to go to the three-person engine companies. When we first started putting together a digital campaign plan for Davis, there was a real vacuum for their communications. The angry bloggers were dominating everything online. So it created a really hostile environment in the city of Davis where clearly the, the Davis firefighters couldn't get their message out properly. For very little money, the first thing that we were able to do was ensure that we went on search. If you live in Davis and you want to learn about the firefighters, the top of your search results are going to be things that generally create a positive impression of the firefighters. Beyond that, the ability to target advertising to the zip code level means that we're able to invest in things like online video ads in a way that just wouldn't have made sense without digital. We have the ability to target specific groups of people. We think that it will have a viral effect and that our word will spread to their friends and their friends. The future uh, really is going to be technology. We don't want to be playing catch-up, we want to be leading the way. Firefighters have always been known to be on the cutting edge of campaigning. Whether it's our print shop or our video studio, our messaging, we've always been looked up to as how effective we are in the political process. This partnership with BPI takes us to a whole nother level. The strategies that Bully Pulpit and CPF are working to bring to the locals aren't about catching up. They're not about making sure that we don't fall behind. They're about getting ahead. We're probably five years ahead of everybody else. So this is going to give our affiliates the opportunity to go into areas that nobody's ever been before in local elections or in local uh, issue campaigns. We live in a social media world. Politics is adapting. And for us to stay ahead of the game, we not only need to adapt, but we need to stay on the cutting edge.